Welcome to Beagle Hardware's how-to video series. We have many more videos available at www.beaglehardware.com. Today we'll be learning how to wireless. We will show you how to connect your Epson POS printer with a wireless adapter to your Windows computer. First, you will need an Epson POS printer with connected wireless adapter, a Windows computer with wireless port, and potentially a USB cable if you have the two newer versions of wireless cards. For the purposes of this video, we assume a few things. First, that you have a Wi-Fi router configured to work with wireless adapters. Also, we assume you have an available IP address in mind that works with your computer and network. If you need to configure your computer to accept Wi-Fi connections, click here for our website's instructions. Step number one, identifying the type of wireless card. There are three types of Epson connected wireless cards, the original UBRO2 and two more. If you have the UBRO2 card, please click here for the full setup description. The UBRO3 and the UBRO4 cards feature a smaller antenna and a USB configuration port. If you have the two newer versions of wireless cards, we assume you have the USB cable as well. If you have the UBRO3 card or the UBRO4 card, continue watching the video. Step number two, install the connected wireless adapter into the Epson TM series printer. The adapter can replace the existing adapter and is held in place by two screws. Note that the serial wireless adapter requires more power than the serial or the parallel interfaces. If the printer fails to work, after installing the wireless adapter, try a different power supply, like the PS180. Step number three, attaching the cable. Wireless printers use a standard USB 2.0 printer cable, Type-B. One end has a male USB Type-B connector, and the other end has a male USB Type-A connector that goes into the computer. Step number four, installing device drivers. If provided with a driver disk from Beagle Hardware or Epson, you can install the Epson printer drivers from the CD. You can also download the files from Epson. Download and install the files available from Epson at www.pos.epson.com and click on Technical Resources. Next, select the printer model under the menu and click the download drivers on the printer page. For detailed instructions, see here. Step five, network setup. To connect to your network, the printer must have settings that are compatible to your network. This requires the adapter to first connect to the printer in its default state. Configuration of this adapter is done from a computer. Running the TMNet configuration on the computer. You can do this to change the settings on the wireless card. The utility will scan for the wireless printers on your network and lets you change the adapter settings. Learn more by clicking here. Wireless adapters can also be obtained by inserting a paper clip through the small hole in the adapter for three seconds. The printer will print a list of settings and the current IP address. Step number six, self-test. Check initial printer and wireless adapter settings. Get the initial settings of the wireless adapter. Run the printer self-test by holding down the feed button while turning on the printer. You can change the interface settings using the dip switches on the bottom of the printer. You can go to our support page and find your printer to do this. Step number seven, configuring a computer with a wireless adapter. 
ad hoc mode is the method for wireless devices to directly communicate with each other. Choose ad hoc if you're connecting directly to a device. Infrastructure mode implies there is a common wireless point, such as a wireless router. Choose infrastructure if installing the printer with a wireless router that has a Wi-Fi network. Open the wireless adapter properties in the network connections of the Windows control panel. If the first three numbers of your IP address are 192.168.192, then you do not need to reconfigure your computer's IP address. Do not set your the computer to the same address as the wireless adapter on the printer. Step number eight, making the initial connection from the computer to the printer. Open up the view wireless networks in the wireless adapter properties. The printer then will be visible as Epson Net IBSS as an unsecured computer to computer network. Click on the connection to connect to the printer and this will establish the connection. Step number nine, verifying the connection from the router to the printer. Now you should verify that the printer is connected to the router. Turn the printer on and log into the router administration from a computer on the network. Next, click on the connection to check the wireless device status. Verify that the printer is communicating with the router by finding the IP address of the printer. You can also verify that the printer is connected to the computer by pinging the printer from the computer. For details, click here. Step number 10, configuring the printer in Windows. You will need to configure the port you are using. Open the printer in the Windows printer folder. Select the ports tab. You must now add the port as TCP ICP port. Press add port and select standard TCP IP port, then select new port. This will open up the add standard TCP IPC port wizard. Enter the IP address of the wireless adapter. Step number 11, testing the printer. You should now be ready to test the printer by pinging some printing some test or by pressing the print test page button in the general tab of the printer properties. Congratulations, your computer is now configured to run with the wireless printer. To see more how-to videos, visit our website. We also have supplies, support, repairs, and the lowest prices. Check us out at www.beaglehardware.com.